Hey everybody and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be taking a look at converting plates from DSTV files into DXF files uh, for burn tables and things like that uh, using the renewed DSTV to DXF converter in Tecla Structures 2023. So if you come over here to the Applications and Components catalog and search for DXF, um, if you've been using Tecla for a few years, you may notice that the DSTV to DXF converter icon looks a bit different. Um, up until 2023, this converter has always been available as sort of a, a macro or a function that ran with any, without any real sort of interface. It would just prompt you to grab the files you wanted, and it would prompt you for where to put them, and that was pretty much it. Um, so if you needed to customize the output of your DXF files, you actually had to go in and edit a text file um, telling it what layer names you wanted to use and what colors you wanted to use. And the text file, unless somebody told you where it was, might not be the most uh, intuitive thing to find. Um, and just, you know, there were ways that we could improve it. Now this is not actually a new feature. Uh, it has existed as an add-on extension for the past couple of years. So if you are using, uh, you know, say 2020, 2021 or something like that, the extension is available for that. But in 2023, this is now the default DSTV to DXF converter. Now in this model, I've already gone ahead and made my DSTV files for plates. So I'll show you what this interface looks like. We're going to go ahead and double click on the converter icon here in the Applications and Components catalog. And you can see that now we're getting a large dialog box that's going to prompt us through a, a couple of steps. Now here I can choose the output folder where I want those to go. If I don't change anything, they just go into the model folder as they always have. If I go through the different tabs, you can see that it's a lot nicer interface than an old text file would be. So in the environment, do we want to draw crosshairs in our holes? That's a common thing that people need turned off. So I can come in here and say none. Um, do I want to export any sort of curve or contour as a polyline or would I prefer to use lines and arcs for my machine? So it's a very easy interface to understand. As we go through some of the text specifications, you can see um, different options for the text height, what should be included, Really important for a lot of folks is the layers. What should the layer uh, names be? What should the layer colors be? And again, much nicer than using some sort of number in a text file to indicate the color. Now, if you've already got the definitions defined in an older version of Tecla Structures, you can still import those definition text files here. So it's not like you have to redefine everything from scratch. You can still use the existing settings that you've already been using. Um, but once this is configured, you can go back to this general tab, you click add, you can browse to the NC files that you're trying to import. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a bunch here. And here's a list of all of the NC files that we're about to convert that you can review. And then you can go ahead and hit convert. So we can see that because I did not define the output folder, it just defaulted to the model folder and then NC underscore DXF. So if I go ahead and hit open output folder, there are all the DXF files for my burn table. So a quick video this time around, but I just wanted to show you that this was available. Like I said, this is also uh, an extension, an add-on to older versions of Tecla Structures. But if you're using Tecla Structures 2023, you'll see that this is now the defaults. So we'll go ahead and wrap things up there. Kind of a short video this time, but uh, go ahead and leave some comments or questions below if you have any. And thanks for watching.